तौर से क्योंकि वो लॉन्ग टर्म सस्टेनेबिलिटी को भी जो है वो इंश्योर करेगा जी नित्या जी जी शुक्रिया विमल जी आ, दो सवाल हैं आई एस को का, का, काफी कम्युनिटी एंगेजमेंट में काफी मेन काफी अहम भूमिका है ना जी, तो जी, बिल्कुल आ, जो जैसे कि मिशा सिंह जी बोल रहे थे और भी लोग बोल रहे हैं कि आ, जो जो इरिगेशन वाटर है सबसे ज्यादा पानी एग्रीकल्चर में जाता है जी तो जी जी उसको उसमें बैलेंस लाने के लिए कि इरिगेशन ओवर यूज ना करे और ड्रिंकिंग वाटर भी रहे पानी ड्रिंकिंग के लिए भी रह जाए जी आ, उसमें आई का क्या रोल हो सकता है आ, इसमें जो आ, मैं देख पा रहा हूँ क्योंकि सीओ मैम ने जो साजापुर का जिक्र किया है और मैं जो कि डिंडोरी से हूँ तो डिंडोरी को भी देख पा रहा हूँ और साजापुर से भी कहीं ना कहीं मैं जुड़ा रहा हूँ तो डेफिनेटली एक ये बड़ा चैलेंज है जहाँ पे कि जो एग्रीकल्चर पैटर्न है खास करके हमारा जो इंदौर या होशंगाबाद का जो बेल्ट है वो उसका एक बेल्ट है जहाँ पे कि मोर इरीगेशन की रिक्वायरमेंट है और वहां पे तो आई में जैसे जो आ, मैं आ, थोड़ा क्योंकि आई के अनुभव की अगर हम बात करें थोड़ा अगर हम कम्युनिटी के साथ काम कर रहे हैं तो अभी जो क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न है तो मैं इस पे नहीं जाऊंगा कि उसको हम लार्ज लेवल पे चेंज करने की हम बात कर करेंगे लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं हमको पंचायत और वहां के जो फार्मर ग्रुप्स हैं या फार्मर्स हैं या यहाँ खास करके बहुत अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म हमारा एस का है जो एनआरएलएम के साथ हैं अभी हम लोग उसके साथ काम भी कर रहे हैं जल जीवन मिशन को भी कैसे उनके साथ जोड़ के ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस में तो वहां पे हम थोड़ा सा फोकस कर सकते हैं कि हम क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न को कैसे आ, आ, देख पाए कि क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न में किस तरह के बदलाव को एक स्लोली प्रोसेस होगा और टाइम ओरिएंटेड होगा मतलब टाइम लगेगा टाइम टेकिंग काम है लेकिन इसको एक लेवल पे ले सकते हैं एंड सेकेंड जो हम बात कर रहे थे कि जो जैसे इंदौर या हम देवास की भी बात करें तो देवास भी ड्राउट में बहुत सारा है वहां पे बहुत क्राइसिस है तो वहां पे अभी जैसे हम लोग गवर्नमेंट ने भी जो नेचुरल फार्मिंग जैसी प्रैक्टिसेस को लेने के लिए गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया बहुत आगे फोकस करके आ, काम कर रहे हैं और अब हम लोग भी एक पार्ट की तरह उस पर आगे हम लोग जा रहे हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि थोड़ा एग्रीकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट को भी कहीं ना कहीं इसके एरी फेरी में लेके आना होगा खास करके अगर हम इरिगेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बात कर रहे हैं जी शुक्रिया विमल जी रमन आपके पास कोई सवाल एक क्वेश्चन विमल जी के लिए एक इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जो मेरे दिमाग में ये है कि जो इम्प्लीमेंटिंग सपोर्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सपोर्ट एजेंसी जिनको गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने पैनल किया है सारे जितने संस्थाएं हैं उसमें कहीं ना कहीं वो सोशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रहे हैं और उनका जो टेक्निकल ओरिएंटेशन और विशनिंग कैपेसिटी जो टेक्निकली चीजों को करने का वो कहीं ना कहीं जो है अभी तत्काल के लिए लोगों को रिक्रूट करना पड़ता है या वो फ्रेश इंजीनियर्स होंगे लेकिन उसका जो विशन होता है डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल को समझ के उसको व्यापक स्वरूप देने का या एक स्टेट लेवल को समझ के व्यापक स्वरूप देने का और ट्रेनिंग देते वक्त इंजीनियर्स की जो बहुत सीनियर इंजीनियर्स वगैरह उनकी जो है पोजिशन को समझने का वो एक बात है दूसरा स्वच्छ भारत मिशन के अंदर जो है वो फेकल फ्लड मैनेजमेंट है ग्रे वाटर मैनेजमेंट है और जो जितनी और भी टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स आता है तो इन सारे चीजों को दूर करने के लिए क्योंकि ये बहुत टाइम बाउंड मिशन भी है तो आ, मतलब एन आई डब्ल्यू सी वाई डी ने क्या सोचा है कि इस पे किस तरीके से लोगों की आ, जो टेक्निकल और सोशल विशन बना सकते हैं और उनको जोड़ सकते हैं आ, रमन भाई इसमें एक जो मैं आ, बात कर रहा था जैसे हम हम चूंकि ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सप्लाई के साथ सोर्स सस्टेनेबिलिटी ग्रे वाटर मैनेजमेंट ये तीनों एस्पेक्ट को लेके काम कर रहे हैं वहां पे और इसमें एक जो पार्ट था वो एक सोर्स सस्टेनेबिलिटी का था तो जहाँ पे कि हम वहाँ पे जो वाटर सोर्सेस हैं और जो सरफेस वाटर है उसको कैसे हम रिचार्ज के कंसेप्ट में लेके आ सकते हैं कि क्योंकि कई सारी हमारे यहाँ भी एक हर एक गाँव जो है वो अलग टोपोग्राफी है डिंडोरी की अगर मैं बात करूँ डिंडोरी क्योंकि बहुत स्केटर्ड मैनर में है और कई सारे सोर्सेस और एक जो हमारे यहाँ थोड़ा कम्युनिटी का भी परसेप्शन समझना होगा क्योंकि अगर हम डिंडोरी की बात करें तो डिंडोरी में भी अगर हम देखते हैं तो बैगा और गोंड दो कम्युनिटी मेजरली वहां पे रह रहे हैं 
और उनका जो रहन का तरीका है या उनके जो कल्चर हैं या उनके जो ट्रेडिशंस हैं अभी मैं शेयर करूं कि बैगा चेक एरिया में अगर हम बैगाओं के साथ काम कर रहे हैं तो वहां पे जो स्प्रिंग वाटर है या वहां पे जो पेनियल जो पानी है उसको वो ज्यादा प्रेफर करते हैं बोरवेल के पानी को पीते ही नहीं है तो वहां पे सवाल ये है कि जो आप जो आप बात कर रहे हैं कि कैसे उसको हम देख रहे हैं जैसे हम लोग ग्रे वाटर पे भी कर रहे हैं कि ग्रे वाटर चूंकि हम लोग जिस एरिया में काम कर रहे हैं वहां पे अः उनके प्लेटफॉर्म उस तरह से डेवलप करना वहां पे ग्रे वाटर के लिए जो है आप सोकपिट डेवलप करने की बात कर रहे हैं स्मॉल टाइप का किचन गार्डन डेवलप कर रहे हैं जिससे किचन गार्डनिंग का भी काम हो सके और वो पानी को जो है वो यूटिलाइज कर पाए तो मुझे लगता है कि जो टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट जो आप बात कर रहे थे उसमें एक बड़ा अभी आ, काम करने की जरूरत है या कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग करने की जरूरत है आईएसएस को कि उनके जो इंजीनियर्स हैं जो अभी इस प्रोजेक्ट के साथ कहीं ना कहीं एसोसिएटर्स हैं तो वो सोशल एस्पेक्ट को कितना समझ पा रहे हैं टेक्निकली तो वो साउंडेड है कि हम ये स्ट्रक्चर बना देंगे लेकिन वो कम्युनिटी कैसे ओन करेगी और कम्युनिटी कैसे उसको सोच कर रही है क्योंकि कम्युनिटी वाटर मैनेजमेंट एग्रीकल्चर हर चीज को समझते हैं और हमको उनके समझ के आधार पे अपनी टेक्नोलॉजी को उस तरह से मॉडिफाई करना पड़ेगा कि वो जो है वो सस्टेन करे आगे लॉन्ग रन में तो वो थोड़ा सा मुझे लगता है कि हमको देखना होगा थैंक यू सो मच ओवर टू यू नित्या फॉर द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन थैंक यू विमल जी आई थिंक आपने बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट बात कही है कि इंजीनियर्स हैव टू बी सोशली कॉन्शियस एंड पीपल आर वर्किंग इन द सोशल सेक्टर हैव टू बी टेक्निकली कॉन्शियस तो ये मिलजुल के काम करने की करने का समय है हमारे पास कुछ सवाल जवाब हैं कुछ सवाल हैं पार्टिसिपेंट से जो कि क्वेश्चन है क्यू एन ए बॉक्स में है एक सिंह के लिए सवाल है Uh, are you able to measure the norm of 55 lpcd or 44 or 40 lpcd and at what level are you able to measure at the household or community or some other level uh, could you please uh, describe the system in use uh, nitya as on today uh, jab bhi koi project ready hota hai as it is uh, for 90 days it is in a testing period uh with the concerned agency which has been the constructing agency is responsible for uh, running and the maintaining of the project so we are measuring uh, the 55 lpcd at the source level as of now uh secondly we are also testing one more thing that is the pressure that is being given and uh, at the each household level and the third thing we are uh, checking is the reserve availability so the ohts are being prepared overhead tanks are prepared which are to be reserved and full for 40% capacity as and when the scheme is there uh, the fourth thing that we test is an additional parameter is the electricity availability because this is very important parameter of jgm it is not just the 55 lpcd which is to be provided at the household level it is the fixed supply of the water at a particular given period of time which is there or not so here we ensure that the mpp which is the electricity department is also an important parameter has also be brought into the picture has also be brought into the loop and in case if uh, a certain if electricity proper electricity is not there so we set up transformers over there so this is how the uh, period of uh, uh, 60 days of uh, testing period is done, done and then a tripartite agreement is done between the gram panchayat uh, between phe and the concerned agency where there it is handed over to the gram panchayat for the further maintenance and the running one Thank supplementary you. question to that nitya uh, one supplementary question is one of the institutions at this point i know that this two preempted a question but uh, thing because uh, a, a district ceo and a, a two district level engineers are sitting i am quite uh, you know tempted to ask this uh, <clears throat> because uh, one of the institutions in the long run which is important for pipe water supply mission is the metering metering process is any of the district Uh, at this point under the jaldiva mission thinking about uh, other than you know look, looking at the bulk metering are we looking at household level measurement of uh, water supply or is there is there a is there a kind of benefit of doing that uh, if at all possible if you are looking at some of the issues now maybe it is an important measure that at least in some areas of the district you can pilot what do you think about 
uh, Raman, you know what? It is very interesting that you have raised this question. This was something that I was just discussing with my executive engineers in the morning that uh, when we are measuring 55 LPCD and we have to ensure it at the each household level in the Gram Panchayat. So for us, a very strict parameter of 55 LPCD can be measured only when we have a meter. So as of now, the metering availability is not there. The meters are not available at the Gram Panchayat. That is for sure. Uh, but yes, we have put this in front of the district uh, in, front, in front of our collector. And we are trying to pitch in through CSR that we do push in it as a pilot project in few uh, villages over here because it has its added benefits, right? So the added benefits include uh, not only uh, making sure that the PHE is answerable in terms if there is some major issue of the technical issue in terms of the supply of it. We are also able to hold liable the electricity department, right? Uh, in case the water supply is not there. And we are also able to make sure that the stakeholders who are the receivers at the end of the day, they have the right uh, amount of knowledge of the bills that they have to pay. And it kind of uh, itself inculcates a habit of using the water very diligently. So yes, we are uh, looking forward in that direction because the urban administration does provides for it. We have even written about this thing in the morning only. Uh, to the state government that how all we can implement it at the vast scale. Thank you. Maybe we could also hear from Mr. Paul and Mr. Mahapatra what's happening in, in those two states about metering. Sir, in Odisha, we are providing seven campuses are designing the schemes although they then five five for 55 of the but we are designing for 17 pcs and uh, metering system not that we have started uh, after our completion of all the schemes commission after 2024 it may be decided but presently no water meter that provided mr paul in bengal also we <laughs> Uh, we actually, um, we are measuring at the source itself, but for the household, which is most important, I think, uh, and a need of the hour, I think also, uh, because as far as the PHED concerned, it is, it is our responsibility and also the accountability uh, to provide 55 LPCD water. But uh, uh, somehow it is uh, not yet, uh, been uh, taken up in the field uh, as uh, uh, Miss Singh also told. So uh, we are also thinking about it, and uh, it, it may be uh, we are uh, we are thinking uh, to run it for a pilot project uh, so that uh, what will be the actual uh, impact. Uh, we are trying to see it. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, not yet uh, uh, implemented in the field yet. Thank you. So I have a question for uh, Vimal Bhai. Uh, Vimal ji, ye participatory water management framework ko uh, lagu karne ke liye in collaboration with panchayats and lead department. Is Kelly, uh, Kia Kia Jara, Kia Kadamutai Jare, uh, Abdera, Apne, uh, experience a Bolega, or Phil, uh, uh, Miss Singh, or, um, Mr. Paul, or Mr. Mahapatra Savi Pushte. Usme ek ad is ek is ad Karna Charata Nikya. The Eklavia Prasad has raised an important question or a, you know, suggestion that in West Bengal, there is a specific Jalbandhu uh, institutional initiative that they have created. And in uh, Bihar, they have already told that, that there is a uh, very, uh, you know, ward level, uh, you know, kind of collective that has come up. So maybe good to hear from all of them how they are looking at the partic community participation and ownership framework. I'll add ownership to the part participation element here. Thank you. Vimal ji, pehle aap se sune, fir, uh... Is Vimal still here? Uh, 
Uh, he is not here. He is not. Here. Oh, okay. Vimal is not here. Don't maybe he to drop off. Okay, maybe uh, Ms. Singh can start and then we can ask uh, Mr. Paul and Mahapatra, Mr. Mahapatra also about it. Uh, Nitya, actually, when we talk about uh, participatory uh, water-based local resource management, I believe that is your question, how do we go about it? Uh, there are three, four things that we have to take into picture. First, um, we have to bring into a practice of creating a water budget budgeting at the gram panchayat level as well. Uh, wherein uh, we have made them understood that how a particular source has to be utilized. That is number one. Secondly, we are also, there were certain people, I, I believe I checked through certain uh, questions that were being raised at how are we creating a source uh, rejuvenation and restoration, which is also a part of the participatory water management. Actually, uh, there is a Catch the Rain project, which has also been launched by the government of India. Uh, under which uh, we have ensured that each and every government building over and the government institution building over here does have a roof water harvesting systems. Uh, any new building which is coming up in our district, we have tweaked certain designs over here so that the maximum, the potential of the uh, rainwater harvesting structures are being utilized to the fullest. So we have the groundwater recharges through being, uh, being developed over there as such. We have also partnered with other institutions at Madhya Pradesh level, which is Valmi, which is also coming up with the indigenous designs of creating uh, shafts through which we can create further harvesting systems. We have taken up uh, all rejuvenation in the repair and maintenance uh, at the Gram Panchayat level of all the existing structures beforehand, uh, be it a pond, be it any check dam, be it any stop dam, or even a hand, a, hand, a hand pump for that matter, how it can be utilized. So we have involved the Gram Panchayats in the selection of such sites, such buildings, and such sources that can be taken up by them for creation and of a further sustainable uh, water source. We are also engaging uh, Krishi Vigyan Kendra and the Horticulture Department in promoting drip irrigation because somebody pointed out that uh, how can we make sure that the farmers are not putting a very heavy demand on the groundwater. So these are uh, Krishi Sichai uh, Yojana is already in run for a very long period of time. We are just making sure that it is being reinforced again so that uh, if, the same, if the same work can be done with a little water, so per drop, uh, one per drop per crop system. So we are just trying to reinforce it again to the Krishi Vigyan pain. So that is also part of the, uh, that is also a means of a participatory water planning over here. And the fourth thing that we have done over here is that we have, we are trying to reorient our SHG groups over here on the usage of the water at the household level. So these are the four things that we have done. And uh, this is just a beginning, I would say. And um, one more thing which Mr. Wimmer was saying, and I would like to add one more thing in that the IAC and how they could contribute in the participatory water management is that not only they have to engage with the community at the ground level, if we could have a platform at the national level where the good practices which are being done from all of the state are gathered at one point, and it can be disseminated from there to all the ISAs and the ISAs can handpick and can engage the community in understanding the situation and can fix the problem with an existing solution is maybe in some other state. That would also help in a very long run because I, the people are going to be here. We as, a, we as, uh, as part of the government institution, we keep on shifting from one district to another. So rather than having a, a very person oriented approach over here, Having a systems-oriented approach can be can come only when the ISAs are engaging on a community and on a long-term basis through all such mechanisms for us. Thank you, Missy. So over to Mr. Gopen Paul. Can we hear from you on what is being done in Beng in Bengal in this respect? Ah, uh, uh, in. Uh... 
Jalbandhu uh, let us come to that point Jalbandhu uh, is a yahan par jo hai abhi wo ek bahut acha structure hai wo hum log kaam un unse bhi hum log service le rahe hain JJM ke under mein to kyunki ye jo quality aspects hai ye quality aspects mein wo log abhi bahut acha kaam kar rahe hain और आईसी एक्टिविटी में भी थोड़ा थोड़ा हम लोग जो उन लोगों को काम में अभी इन्वॉल्व कर रहे हैं मगर क्या है वो थोड़ा मैक्सिमम जो होता है अब यहाँ का आईसी एक्टिविटी वो आउटसोर्सिंग के ऊपर ही अभी तक ध्यान दिया गया है तो अगर इन हाउस आईसी एक्टिविटी है तो हम लोग उन लोगों को थोड़ा सा और भी काम में लगा सकते हैं और, और फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या था और एक बार कि कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेशन कम्युनिटी लीडरशिप अगर लोकल वाटर मैनेजमेंट में लाना है तो उसके लिए क्या किया जा रहा है या आपके क्या विचार हैं इसको उसके बारे में कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेंट तो अभी तक जो यहाँ का जो सिनारियो है बंगाल का वेस्ट बंगाल का तो कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेशन अभी भी हम लोग सोच रहे हैं क्योंकि वी आर थिंकिंग ऑन इट वी हैव सीन इट आवर वाटर फॉर पीपल इज डूइंग सच काइंड ऑफ मॉडल वर्क हेयर इन बीरभूम आल्सो एंड फ्यू अदर एजेंसीज हैव आल्सो डन इट सो अभी तो देख रहे हैं उनका जो फीडबैक भी बहुत अच्छा ही है तो अभी आ, हम लोग वो सोच रहे हैं वो हम लोग हम लोगों का गवर्नमेंट भी है इसके बारे में सोच रहे हैं आई थिंक कम विथ सम पॉजिटिव रिव्यू ऑन दिस थैंक यू मिस्टर महापात्रा आपसे जानना चाहेंगे ओडिशा में कम्युनिटी एंगेजमेंट कम्युनिटी लीडरशिप इन लोकल वाटर मैनेजमेंट किस तरह से किस प्रकार से हो रहा है और किस इन अलग अलग जो एजेंसियां हैं उसमें उनका क्या रोल है सर सर वर्किंग सेक्टर इन स्पेसिफिकल एंड ट्रेकिंग to hire the people to use full quality water to use the clean water in proper way in 99 sector reform project ne set kiya gaya in which community ko pradhanya diya gaya usme community ko 90 percent funds diya gaya aur 10 percent wo own fund to raise karke kaam kiya uska mantra tha om or operate and maintain 99 se 2006 tak wo project aisa se chala उसी टाइम में मुझे 200 हंड्रेड प्रोजेक्ट दिया था सुंदरगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट में उड़ीसा में तो आज भी मुझे फोन आता है उनसे गांव से गांव में अच्छी तरह से बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट को मेंटेन कर रहे हैं वो बोल रहे हैं साहब कोई तुमने आया क्या करो एक तुम्हें आया क्या करो हम सिर्फ उनको सलाह देते हैं वो कैसे होगा सजेस्ट करते हैं वो लोग खुद अपने करते हैं वो मेंटेन करते हैं वो नॉपरेट मेंटेन जो वो मंत्र वो ठीक से चलाते हैं 2006 के बाद गवर्नमेंट क्या कर दिया इसी टाइम पर टेन परसेंट गवर्नमेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन आएगा नाइनटी परसेंट गवर्नमेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन और गवर्नमेंट के थ्रू इम्प्लीमेंट होगा गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर्स फैसिलिटेट रहेंगे एनजीओ आई एस ओ सब फैसिलिटेट रहेंगे दो हजार छह को फिर गवर्नमेंट फ्री में स्कीम दे दिया मैं टू हंड्रेड प्रोजेक्ट गाँव में इनिशियट करके काम शुरू किया था काम कॉम्पिटिव और वो चला रहे थे उसे गाँव के आस पास फ्री स्कीम चलाए तो फ्री स्कीम कब आया गवर्नमेंट ने इलेक्ट्रिक पेमेंट किया सब रिटायरमेंट किया तो पास का गांव को कम्युनिटी किए थे वो बोले सर हम क्यों हाथ से देंगे वो लोग तो गवर्नमेंट से देते हैं तो ये फिर हुआ फिर ऐसे ऐसे करते हैं चार पांच साल आठ दस साल के अंदर तो उसका प्रिंसिपल और चेंज हो जाता है अभी फिर दो को बोला गया कि सब स्कीम को पंचायत को हैंड ओवर किया जाए पंचायत को हैंड ओवर किया गया वो मेंटेन कर रहा था कम्युनिटी को एक बार कम्युनिटी जाता है कम्युनिटी इन्वॉल्व होता है दूसरा बार पंचायत में जाता है दूसरा बार फिर गवर्नमेंट इन्वॉल्व पाता है और बहुत सारे स्कीम है गवर्नमेंट का जहां पर भी बहुत सारे फ्री में दिया जाता है 
तो पानी जो है एक गांव को जाते हैं तो गांव लोग तो बोलते हैं हमको बोलते आप मिल्टन को आप पैसा दो आप गुजरती दो तो दूसरा अस्थि में क्यों फिर देते हैं तो क्या पानी हमारा जरूरत तो नहीं है पानी के नाम पैसा दे जब पैसा भी देंगे पैसा दे के चला रहे तो दूसरा जवाब फिर न देंगे तो कॉम्यूनिटी के पास बार कोई सेम करो वीडियो फॉर्मेशन करेंगे जो सिस्टम में हम बोला बहुत सारे गांव गए गांव में बैठा और उनको बहुत सारे पाठ पढ़ाया और उनको आयत करके फर्स्ट कर दिया फिर गवर्नमेंट फ्री में और स्कीम दे दिया तो कॉम्यूनिटी जो इन्वॉल्वमेंट होता है उसका फ्रस्ट्रेशन आता है क्या करो हमको बताते हैं ऐसे करो ऐसे अब भी हमको विश्वसन है कि कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेशन के लिए आदमी करो इनको इन्वॉल्व करो कम्युनिटी अवर्ड आते हैं लेकिन इसमें जो पुराने आदमी वो बोल ये लास्टिंग नहीं होगा क्योंकि इसका कोई सस्टेनेबल नहीं सिस्टम सस्टेनेबिलिटी I wish we had more time to continue with this uh, line of uh, inquiry. I think it is just getting interesting. Uh, Raman, did you have any points? Otherwise, we can uh, move to the closing. Yeah, I think we can move to the closing now, Nitya. Uh, given okay. that, uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, okay. I just uh, like to thank the panelists uh, for their time and very interesting uh, uh, inputs. Um, I would uh, I'll hand over to Mr. Bishwadeep Ghosh from who's the country director for Water for People for his uh, closing remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Nitya. Good evening, uh, everyone. I think it was just getting warm when we had to call it off, Nitya. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I'll just start by thanking uh, all of you on behalf of my colleagues at IRC and to also thank the esteemed uh, panelists who despite being very busy took this time out to debate and discuss really the important aspect of institutional mechanism. So thank you, Shirin uh, Chaudhary, Mr. Mahapatra, Mr. Gopin Paul, Mr. Vimal for taking the time out. I would also like to thank the moderators, Nitya Jacob, Susanna Ravan from Water Rate, uh, Sonia from Water for People, and uh, roughly the 100 until the end for their patient uh, listening and active engagement through the chats. So I'll not try to summarize all the discussions uh, but my takeaway, I think, listening to all two, two issues, two challenges that cut across uh, all the panelists with the issue of sustainability primarily, although we had mentioned initially uh, that along with sustainability, the issue of economy is possibly as important. But there's a lot of focus on uh, these sustainability of source and sustainability of institutions, which was, I think, reflective of the three questions that we were asking, basically. So what's the vision for professional approaches uh, for managing water supply systems as envisaged on the JGM? Because this reflects a paradigm shift, both in terms of quantum uh, of the work that is at hand and also the manner in which it is to be implemented. That was one. The second was obviously on the capacities that would be required at the Panchayati Raj institutions, uh, village block and levels. And that it got added, uh, the capacities of ISAs as well, uh, who are playing the interfacing role with the communities. And the third point, which we, uh, had also asked was the 
other line departments made a shift to a systems approach instead of spot services. So possibly on this one, uh, some more experience needs to be generated, uh, but we heard very riveting insights from the two bureaucrats, the two technocrats and one civil society uh, actor who was playing the role of ISA. So uh, in terms of the capacity that came out as a uh, running thread again, so there were two set of community institutions and the other was of the government institution itself because on the community institution we heard about various kind of institutions that are playing out in the states somewhere it is wsc there's wimc uh, vimal mentioned about the sgs and how they could be leveraged uh, so gopen paul mentioned the jalpanus which is currently also water for people has done a lot of work on that but the answer clearly is still uh, we really don't know why we are the institutions are absolutely critical for ensuring ownership community ownership and ensuring sustainability uh, of the schemes themselves uh, but these two visions the technical vision and the social vision it still appears a little bit disjointed at the moment because the leadership on the technical vision is being provided by the uh, government institutions, the technical agencies of PHED, whereas the social engineering part again is left to the NGOs, uh, which possibly is where the strength lies. But unless these are as one goal, which Raman was pointing towards, uh, achieving the overall impact of a combined vision uh, will be elusive. And I think the challenge there is, again, in terms of the humongous nature of the task that Ramanit like that the ask is many fold than what it used to be earlier and has the capacity of the government itself been ramped up to match the challenge at hand. So right now, clearly, as we had seen in SBM 1 or and it's on engineering and it's on infrastructure, which is the pressure that is being felt in terms of the delivery. And in that, how do you uh, involve the community institutions, involve the ISAs as well, to not just pick up the work of ONM after the engineering has been done, but how does the community get involved at the planning stage itself so that their vision uh, of what they want to do or how they would want to manage the water can be um, plugged in right at the inception. And uh, we heard a very interesting anecdote from Vimal in the case of the tribals in Madhya Pradesh that in well, they tend to prefer the water from the springs. And probably the question that gets raised is if there is a way to involve them right from the beginning, um, would we have a different nature of uh, drinking water system that can emerge based on uh, springs as source and not possibly uh, doing having to do bore wells? But that's just an illustration, but it becomes very challenging when we are chasing huge targets. The other aspect on the sustainability of source was, uh, it came up in um, discussion was that uh, the issue of source sustainability, if we have to manage the answer lies in agriculture, which is outside the uh, drinking water ambit itself. So for uh, can we ensure drinking water security if we do not address the issue of agriculture? which is the biggest consumer of groundwater and and groundwater as we know is a common pool resource uh, needs to be managed with the principles of commons there were certain questions from the audience and the monitor that goes to the panelists in terms of uh, what has been done to imbibe or incorporate this participatory groundwater management frameworks uh, but that also is a work in progress. Perhaps we can borrow from 
the provisions of Atal Bhujal Yojana, uh, where the lot of emphasis is on demand management. And without managing the demand, it is perhaps difficult to ensure sustainability. And there, uh, I think what uh, Ms. Misha Singh mentioned, uh, the aspect of water budgeting is mandatory in, under that scheme. There is a provision for doing the same under Jaljivan Mission as well, in terms of village water and uh, safety and security plans. But how do we plug these two in, uh, in terms of the social engineering, getting married to the technical uh, aspects, will need to be seen. And I think it is still a work in progress. There will be a lot of rich experience that will come up. And right now, uh, if we keep abreast with the needs or the challenges that are arising, I mean, we will be in time for strengthening these institutions possibly after the implementation phase of Jaljeevan mission is over, like we saw with SBM2, uh, there is much more focus on sustainability than uh, the ONM of the infrastructure then, than it was possible to do when the program itself was running. But uh, that, that said, I think uh, two hours possibly was too short a time to get into the depth of all the issues and discuss them threadbare. We've got very good insights from uh, four different states talking about the same issue. And uh, I think we'll close with the last suggestion by Ms. Misha Singh again, that uh, if there is a way for creating a platform for cross-sharing, I mean, there are a lot of interesting experiences, pilots that are happening across states on the very same issue. Uh, and here also we saw the experiences of Orissa, in Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra. Uh, but if there is a way to facilitate exchanges in terms of what is working, what is not, perhaps we can uh, accelerate this work uh, a bit better. And for doing that, I think like we end with uh, every such meeting, even organizing this meeting was a collaborative effort for rising up to the challenge of Jaljeevan Mission's uh, objectives and goals, uh, I think collaboration becomes an imperative. It is not a choice. It is a necessity where different agencies need to get together, both from the civil society side, also along with the government agencies. And uh, that is the only way we've seen, we've achieved success with several other initiatives in the past, and we are sure that uh, continuing to work in this mode, we will be able to deliver better impact for communities uh, also. But thank you. Thanks a lot uh, to all of you. And uh, have a great evening. And I think uh, on behalf of the organizers, if I'm not wrong, we'll share a report and also the recording with all the participants who were here to also the part because we had around 180 registrations and not everybody could participate in the meeting. So on that note, uh, over to you, Nitya and Raman, uh, if you want to add anything uh, else, we can move towards the closure. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Yeah, Mr. thanks. So well, so I don't think anything to be added. Over to you, Nitya. Yeah, thank you, everybody. And I'd like to thank all our panelists uh, once again. Uh, Ms. Singh, uh, Mr. Mahapatra, uh, and uh, the Principal Secretary, then also Mr. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Paul, and uh, Vimal Bhai, and all the participants who uh, st stayed for the entire two-hour uh, session, and the organizers as well, especially uh, Sonia and Arpita, who've been uh, at it for a long time. And... The, uh, have helped to pull this together. And Raman, my co-moderator, thank you very much for all your support and help. Thank you. We can end this. Uh, and uh, Shaini as well from IRC. Oh, I'm so sorry. So to be here because she's not well. Yes. But yeah, they were... Yeah, the Ruchika has unfortunately uh, fallen sick and she couldn't join. But Shaini is here. Thanks.
Thank you all. Bye. Have a good evening. Bye.